to implement the forward part, the feed forward part of the neural network and the predictions, we need to do the computation that's shown in this, in this image. So what we want to do first is that we want to call a1 as our input x. Then we know that we need to multiply each of all of the thetas with a1. So we need to check the sizes, size of a1 and and let's see, theta one. So let's run that. Okay, we get uh, we get that a one is one by four o oh, four hundred one, and theta one is twenty five times by four o oh, one. Okay. So in our hidden layer, we have twenty five nodes. Is that correct? Yeah, hidden layer size is 25. And then our input is about 400 pixels, and the one at the beginning is for the biases. So what we want here is that we want to mul uh, multiply, let's see, all of the weight uh, for all of the node. So what makes sense here is that we take uh, Z2 to be, to be I mean Z2 uh, to be A1 times theta transpose, theta 1 transpose. Um, and so what we want to do next is take the sigmoid of Z2. But we need to remember here that we need to add the first node. So we need to add the, the, the bias node. And we need to do this for all training examples. So we generate m rows n with one uh, one single column to be a one. So we've done this part. Now for the last part, we do z three to be a one, similarly as before, except that we now do theta two transpose and a three to be the sigmoid of z two. We don't need to add any bias node to the to the output layer. And all we need to do now is similar. We can check the size first. A3. So, hmm, okay. Maybe you can do that. Let's, see. Let's check for. Ah, okay. This should be A2. Okay. Okay, so what we have a three, we have a three here to be one by twenty five. Hmm, I'm not sure if that's what we want. Let's check the size of a two, size of theta two. I was thinking we need one ten in the output. Because we have ten, uh, ten numbers, so Let's see what's our output. Yeah, the number of labels should be ten. So the size here, yeah. Okay, so we want to take. A2 times theta2 transpose, yeah. So that should be generate a 10. No, okay. I think there's something might be wrong here. Let's see. It's one by 10. So we do the sigmoid. Ah, okay, my bad. Should be Z3 there. Okay, so when we have that. What we want to do is we want to uh, take the maximum, so of A3, and we want to do it row wise. And the reason is because we want to take we want to take and the the number which we predict with the largest value. 
and then we, we just return p as indices. So this will return the actual label. And this one we don't need, so we can just put a tilde to mean to to, to signal that to MATLAB that we will be using this value. Okay, so that's that's the forward part of the neural network. Thank you for watching this video.